Presence of the flag, the symbol of justice, Superior Court of San Francisco County is now in session. The Honorable Alvaro, the Honorable Alvaro, the Honorable Alvaro. Good morning. It's a matter of uh, Scott Lee Peterson, case number 1056770. Uh, David Harris and Rick DeSasso appearing for the people. Uh, Kirk McAllister appearing for the defendant. The record reflect the defendant is present. Uh, also appearing for the uh, defense is a new face. Uh, Mr. McAllister, you wish to introduce him? Uh, this is Pat Harris, Your Honor, of Mr. Garrigus's office. Okay. Good morning, Your Honor. Welcome. Uh, basically, this is the uh, pretrial to see uh, what is the status for the preliminary hearing on uh, Monday. Uh, we've been in touch with uh, the court in Los Angeles. Apparently, uh, things have been delayed there with the strike and uh, with the lengthy people's case. Uh, maybe you folks have more detailed information. Uh, who's been checking with Los Angeles? See what's happening down there? I've been in daily contact with Mr. Garrigus, Your Honor, and uh, as of speaking with him last night, um, he says that uh, he will be free and available to do the prelim beginning the 28th of October. And, and that's that the same information, I think, that our uh, office staff uh, found out from the uh, their office staff that are, they're pretty certain that it would be done by that day. Right. And if it was a matter of the jury being out that someone else from his office could um, take care of that duty. The court is inclined to trail it to that date then. Uh, is your client uh, willing to waive time, uh, Mr. McAllister? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, the people's position, uh, counsel? That's fine with us, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Uh, Peterson, you are entitled to have a preliminary hearing within 10 court days and 60 calendar days. Uh, if you want Mr. Garagos to be present, it uh, looks like he will not be present until uh, the 28th, and uh, the court proposes to uh, continue the matter till that date. Is that what you wish to do? Yeah, the 20th is appropriate. You give up your right to a speedy preliminary hearing and uh, have the matter trail to October 28th at 9.30? I do. Your Honor, uh, I guess and one, one other clarification, I think uh, some motions have been indicated for 8.30. Uh, all motions, uh, I'm sure everybody was with the understanding that they will be heard during the preliminary hearing. Right. And the preliminary hearing will start at 9.30, not 8.30. That's fine, Your Honor. That's fine. My uh, only concern is um, the court schedule in that I believe this prelim, if we start on the 28th, will bleed into the next week by a day or two. And I wanted to make sure that, that, that the court was yeah. aware of that. I'm aware of that, and there's okay. no problem. Thank you. And we figure about three to five days, I think, is what we were talked about. It's, it's still accurate. It is, Your Honor. Probably, Probably closer to five days. Mm -hmm. And the other issue is that we would ask if the court is uh, amenable that we could have another pretrial on October 24th just to make sure that everything is ready to go because we're bringing some witnesses from out of state. <clears throat> is that date okay with you, Mr. McAllister? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll set the matter for further pretrial next Friday, uh, the 24th at uh, 8.30 a.m. Uh, this department, uh, what I propose to do at the next pretrial is uh, certify the record so we get that out of the way for, for today's record and also the last time we didn't do that. So we have uh, two periods of time to do and we'll do that on uh, Friday the 24th. Any problem with that, Consul? No, Your Honor. No. The other thing I want to cover at that time too is uh, uh, if witnesses will be excluded, and if so, who's going to be excluded, uh, since that makes a difference as far as uh, seating and who's going to be allowed in and out of the courtroom. So be prepared to tell the court, uh, number one, if you're going to make a motion to exclude witnesses, and if so, who those witnesses are by then. Uh, anything else, uh, Mr. Sasso? No, Your Honor. The only other thing, Your Honor, it does not require any court action. It, I've discussed with Mr. Destasso uh, about a witness list for the preliminary hearing. He, he mentioned earlier in October that he was going to prepare such so we could focus on the people that they would actually call. And we haven't gotten one yet. He's assured me that we're going to get it in a timely fashion. Well, yeah, that's not entirely accurate. <laughs> I actually have provided him with a very detailed and extensive witness list. Yeah, they, uh, they actually want a list of the of the actual bodies I think they're going to be testifying at the prelim and maybe not so much the 115 people. I'm willing to do that, the 115 people. 
I'm willing to do that. I just haven't done that yet. So I did say I'll give him a witness list, and I've given him a witness list, and I want the court yeah. to be aware of that. Now, let's do uh, actually who the witnesses are so they know whether they have to subpoena themselves, and secondly, uh, we'll know who's going to be excluded and who's not. Yeah, that's fine. Of course, Mr. Garrigas said that he was going to give me a witness list as well. I'm assuming, because I haven't seen one, that they're still not intending on calling any witnesses. Okay. Well, we'll hear from that. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is, uh, even though Mr. Uh, Pat Harris is uh, new here uh, at the preliminary hearing or at any time, I don't want more than two attorneys for either side, so you can plan accordingly sure. who's going to be there. Also, we'll probably have seating uh, behind you uh, for the in any investigators you have, so they won't have to sit in the audience. Okay. Sure. Anything else, then? Nothing. Nope. Okay. Defendants remanded. Uh, no bail set. We'll see you next Friday at 830. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.